I'm just going to jump right into things and show you how to do these decreases and then we'll talk about them. So the first main decrease that you'll want to learn is the easiest one and I'll show you how to do it. It's just knitting two stitches together. Um, so let's just say you're knitting along on any kind of project, scarf, hat, socks, whatever, and you get to a point in your pattern or just in how you're feeling and you want to decrease your stitches. So you want to decrease by one. All you do with the knit two together uh, motion or stitch is you just knit two stitches together. So here's two stitches. I'm going to slip my needle through both of them like this. Make sure it comes up the back side. Sometimes it'll be a little tight, but you just slip your needle up through there and then you just knit them off like normal, just pretending it's like one stitch. So knit them both off like that. And then you can continue knitting. Now what this does, I'm gonna go and purl the back side here so we can give it a little bit of space and then we can see what it's doing. Knit two, to, uh, knit two together, what it does is it pulls your work in a direction. And because my brain doesn't work while I'm talking and knitting at the same time, I can't tell you if that direction is to the right or to the left. It's to the right, I'm, I'm fairly certain. I'm 90% certain it's going to the right. But as soon as I finish purling this side, we'll be able to turn it around and take a look at it. So finishing this purl, turning it around, and then we can inspect what we've done. And hey, it's actually kind of hard to see, but very faintly, you can see there is some movement in the stitches. Here is where we did the decrease right here. And you can kind of see all of these stitches here have moved in and it's, these ones have kind of, technically they've, they've gone to the left because we've moved them over. But in this case, we're looking at these stitches and they're being moved to the right. So the knit two together, which is often abbreviated K to tog on some patterns, that is going to create a decrease that moves to the right. And let's just build that up again so you can see the decrease again and then just see it built up over time. It's gonna, that subtle decrease is gonna get more um, pronounced as you, as you go along, as long as you do the decrease in the same spot. So here was our decrease. And I mean, if you were organized, you would have a stitch marker here, but I just know that this is where I'm gonna do my decrease. So I'll knit these two stitches together here. So let's go do that right now. Knit to that position. So we're right here. And again, to do your decrease, you just take those two stitches and you knit them together. Like so. And then we'll continue knitting. So here's what we've done. Again, it's very subtle, but you can see where we've done the decreases. It's just here on this line. Um, there is one and there is the second one. And it's creating just a very subtle decrease that is moving the work very slowly to the right, in the right direction. All these stitches are moving technically left because they're going underneath this column here but in general, the whole work is moving to the right. Also, just to pause right here, when I say the whole work is moving to the right, I mean the seam. So like if you look at the actual line that's being created by the decrease, the line itself is leaning in the right direction. So that's what your uh, knit two together is creating. But let's say you wanted to move the work to the left instead of to the right. So the next decrease that you'll want to learn that I'm gonna show you now is called the SSK, which stands for slip, slip, knit. And what that does is it's, it, it basically does the same kind of subtle decrease, but in this case, the decrease is moving the work to the left. So SSK is very easy, you just do 
what it says. So again, it stands for slip, slip, knit. So we're going to slip the next two stitches and then we're gonna knit a stitch. I probably should have had some more stitches here on the end, but it's fine. We'll be able to see still what's, what's happening. So we're gonna slip the stitch. That's how you slip a stitch. You just go in as if you're gonna knit it, but then you don't actually do anything. You just slip it off. So we'll slip another one off like that. And with them slipped, now you go in with your left needle and we're going to knit them off. It's kind of weird. You just slip your needle through those two slipped stitches and then you knit them off. So we'll grab the yarn from the back and then pull it through like so. And you knit those two stitches off. And then we'll continue knitting. So I'm gonna turn it around and purl the rest of this row. And then we can inspect what we've done. As you'll see, it does essentially the exact same thing as the knit two together. It just changes the movement of your project. So finishing this purling and we're gonna turn it around and we can see. So here is the very, very subtle work. <laughs> it's already kind of very dramatically leaning to the right because of these two decreases that we already did. But here we can see the SSK right here. We slipped the two stitches and then we knitted them together. They're kind of moving to the right, but the whole work now is very, very subtly. This is very subtle guys. It's starting to move to the left. So you might be thinking, okay, SSK, knit two together, one moves it to the left, one moves it to the right. They're both very subtle, who cares? Let's do a real life example. Um, and by real life, I mean just another sample project thing that I have here. Um, and let's put the two of them together. So let's say we are knitting this lovely sock that is not a sock, but I'm knitting in the round here. I've got, this is all connected here. It's a nice little tube. And let's just pretend that this is the toe. I wanna to finish off this sock. And then this is gonna be the toe of the sock. Or I guess this could be a, a tiny hat. <laughs> it doesn't need to be a sock. It makes more sense as a hat. So yes, this is a tiny hat. And I'm about to knit this, uh, it's not a row because we're knitting in the round, but I'm about to knit these stitches on this needle. To finish off the hat, we wanna create that nice gradual slope. So to do that, we have to utilize our SSK and knit two together knowledge. So on this side, when we first start, we're gonna to wanna to do a decrease and we want this decrease moving to the left to create that uh, side of the curve here that's sloping to the left. To do that, we are going to do the SSK stitch and then on here is gonna be uh, the slope that's moving to the right. So we'll do knit two together right here. So let's dive into it. Generally, if you're doing this for a hat or for um, a pair of socks, it's good to just knit the first stitch like normal. So you have kind of a nice little buffer zone, um, but obviously different patterns and preferences call for different stuff. So I'm just gonna knit that first stitch and then we're gonna do our SSK to move to the left. So I'm gonna slip, slip, and then knit those two together, go through the front, knit them off, pull it tight, and then continue knitting. And then when I get to the end of this row or needle, which is gonna be pretty fast. We'll do our knit two together. Okay, so stopping three before the end because I'm gonna knit just one stitch as normal as kind of the buffer zone like I did on at the start of the needle. And we're just gonna do our knit two together. So we're gonna take the needle and scoop up these two stitches 
and knit them off. And then knit that last stitch off the row. Half off the needle, not the row. <laughs> and again, very subtle. You cannot really tell anything is happening yet. But, well, yeah, you can kind of tell. There's a little bit of a pinch happening. So we've got a decrease here that's moving to the left and a decrease here that's moving to the right. We're gonna turn the work and do the same exact thing on the other side because this is in the round. So again, we're gonna do the exact same thing. I'm going to knit a stitch and then do my SSK to move to the left. So slip, slip, go back in as if to knit and then knit those two off. And then continue knitting to the end. And we've got three left. We'll do our knit two together. And then knit the last stitch here. And because we're in the round, you could go ahead and jump right into doing another round of decreases. But generally with like hats and socks, you kind of want to do it a little more gradually. Um, but again, depends on your pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and knit a regular row all the way around. And then we'll do these decreases again. So now I'm ready to do another round of decreases. So let's go back and do our first decrease. So I'm gonna knit this stitch and then SSK. So slip, slip, and then I go back through, get the yarn, wrap it around, and knit those off. My SSK, when I'm knitting in the round, it tends to create kind of a, I guess I did it good there, but right here, that was the previous SSK that I did. I always end up creating kind of a, it's not a very subtle bar and you can kind of see it leaning to the left. Um, I, I don't really know how to avoid that besides just kind of doing it tight. I did it better with this next one, I think, but we'll see. Just little things like that, that, you know, you try to find solutions to. Um, so let's finish this needle and we're gonna do our knit two together. So here's two stitches. We'll knit them together. These are very tight for some reason, which is good. And then knit that last stitch off like normal. Then I'll do the same to this side, and then I'll show you what it's going to look like. So I've done two rounds of decreases with a regular round in between each, and this is what it looks like now. You can really see the gradual slope of the decreases now. So here's our two SSKs, and they are moving everything to the left. And then here's our two knit two togethers and they're moving to the right. Same thing is happening on the reverse. We did decreases here and here. This is moving to the left, this is moving to the right. And it's creating just this nice gradual slope that is beautiful. This is a lovely little tiny hat once it's finished. But I know what you're asking because I have asked it uh, many times myself. Uh, what if I want to do a decrease, but I don't want it moving in any direction, like just like a neutral decrease. Um, yes, that kind of exists. I don't believe in it. <laughs> um, people will say it exists, but I say it doesn't. And it's, it's just dumb. But I'm going to show you how you can do it. A neutral decrease. Let's do it right here in the middle here of the work. Let's knit one more stitch. Yeah, right there, we'll do it. This works kind of like the SSK, 
but in reverse, if that makes sense. So what you do is you slip one stitch off like so, and then you knit the next two stitches together. So here's our next two stitches. We're gonna knit these together like so. And knit, knit, knit. And then that slipped stitch that you had, you're gonna pull it back up, slip your, which just means you're gonna slip your needle through there. And you're gonna pull it off the needle. You're not gonna put it back onto this one or anything. You're just gonna pull it over the stitch of those two stitches that you just stitched together. So just pull it off like that and let it drop. And then you can continue knitting. And what that does, again, allegedly, <laughs> is it creates a neutral decrease that is not going in any one direction. And you can kind of see that already here. I don't like it because it creates this very, I mean, again, it's probably just my tension and, and knitting style. You can probably mitigate this however you want, but it does create kind of this really, this is the slipped stitch and I've never got it to look not like it's really obvious. I guess you could go around the back side and kind of like pull at some of these to make it less obvious. And then when you go ahead and knit the back side, you can kind of make sure that you purl it really tight. So we'll just do that real quick. So I can feel the stitch the stitches that I did for this. It's very loose or there's lots of slack in there. So I have to do it really tight. But here back on the front, you can kind of see where we did the decrease and Allegedly, this is centered. It's not uh, favoring the left or the right direction uh, at all. So these stitches are all just kind of being neutrally pulled together in a center direction. Let me do that one more time and then maybe we can see a little bit more of what it's doing. But again, I just, I'm not a fan of it. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. So we slip the first stitch as if you're going to knit it, but then you don't knit it. Then you knit the next two stitches together. And then you go back and you take that slip stitch and you pull it over the new stitch and then you just let it drop very unceremoniously. And then you finish that row. And I'm running out of stitches to test this on. But let's purl these last, what am I on? Six stitches. And then we can see what it's doing. I don't know, I've never done a project where I've needed to, to know this neutral decrease. Um, and even if I'm just like doing something on my own and I, I don't, or, or like if I, accidentally cast on too many stitches or something and I realized too late and so I need to do a decrease honestly I'll just knit two together and for me that's subtle enough I've never gone through the pains of doing this wacky um, allegedly neutral decrease and the reason I don't is because you can really see the decrease um, here it is here and here again there's probably a better way of making it less noticeable just by how you're pulling your yarn and, and everything. And I guess, I mean, it is pretty neutral, like nothing's, it's not moving the work in any one direction. So I guess that's good. But again, it's just so minor. It's not a big deal at all. Um, so, you know, shoot me. So those are your two main decreases and a little bonus one. So the SSK, slip two stitches and then knit them together, creates a curve moving to the left, and then the knit two together, which is your classic, and it moves the work to the right. If you found that uh, video helpful, give it a like and subscribe, etc., etc. and I will see you next time.